Veronica Pedrosa is a columnist with the Philippine Star. She joins me from London. Thanks for joining us on the program. You know, as I mentioned, uh, the network has been critical of President Duterte. Are you not surprised by this move? No, not really. It's been a long time in coming. And what's happening in the um, over the airwaves, as it were, is actually a proxy political battle between those opposed to President Rodrigo Duterte um, and who were following his predecessor, President uh, Aquino, um, in the previous election. That's why uh, President Duterte has been very much opposed to ABS-CBN's owners, the um, oligarch family, as he calls them, the Lopez family, they are immensely wealthy. They're in like the top 1% of the Philippines. So what's, what's essentially a political fight has now become a battle over media, the freedom of media, the freedom of expression in the Philippines. Right. So do you think that uh, journalistic freedom in Philippines is in danger here? Oh, very much so. Uh, this has become, it's become a victim of this um, political and more personality-based um, uh, fight that we have seen here uh, between the Lopez family and the Duterte family, as I mentioned. And as you can see from the pictures that are being shown at the moment, it's become a very emotional um, battle, as it were. Imagine, ABS-CBN has been on the air since 1953. It became something of a symbol uh, during the martial law era of the uh, former dictator Ferdinand Marcos up until 1986 when there was a people's power movement to oust that former dictator. And so ABS-CBN was able to come back. Now it's off the air again in um, a move that resonates with people as being similar to what happened during martial law. Hmm. And you said it's been on air for well over 60 years. Uh, how popular is it among viewers there? Is there? Has there been any backlash that you've seen from viewers? Oh, absolutely. Um, not just from viewers, but also from the journalistic community. Um, the Philippines is somewhat, um, it has a very um, effervescent, volatile, um, and um, outspoken media scene, I would say. Um, so what we're seeing with the shutdown is not really, there, there isn't going to be any sort of impact on the amount of information that's available to people. There are lots of channels. There's lots of internet availability. Filipinos love Facebook. So what, what's happening now is they're going to those um, uh, media in order to protest against what happened to ABS-CBN. Okay, we'll leave it there. Veronica Pedrosa in London, thank you so much.